So I started this morning with two goals. One, clean my car. Two, make a video about black flags and buses up at the US Capitol. You guys have been asking about that. I got some details I wanted to show you. But in the process of doing both of those things, I got interrupted and disrupted with something more interesting. So I wanted to take you up on my uh, little excursion today and show you what's going on at the US Capitol that's uh, a bit newsworthy. It's been like this all day and all night. Rain, 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 rain. But eventually, like in the next hour, this is going away and it's gonna be replaced by wind. Big wind. When you live in the city, it's actually a little bit difficult to get gasoline. Gasoline's actually really expensive and the gas stations don't have services like vacuum cleaners or car washes. So sometimes I spin out into the suburbs to get that service. And today I did that out by Andrews Air Force Base. And guess who drove by? Gray, blustery day. I actually came up here to do a story about uh, the flags that are flying over the Capitol, but lo and behold, they are removing the barbed wire. Uh, I just went and talked to the guys. They're actually pretty nice guys. And they're removing the wire along this section of the fence because they're going to reopen the road, finally. This is a major artery, this road here, uh, 3rd Street. And I think they're going to reopen that. And they're putting up a fence that looks like on the other side of 3rd Street. So we're going to get a road back. Still not going to get the Capitol uh, access back, but we're going to get a little bit more and a little less barbed wire, which is going to make it look a lot nicer. So the thing that hurts you is the end, right? Yikes, that thing is sharp. Dang. It's a razor wire. A razor, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys didn't put it up, did you? Or did the, the guard put it up? Or did the arm? We put it up. Oh, you guys put it up too? Before when, when the government. Yeah. President Biden was. Hey, how much does that spool cost? <laughs> how much what? How much would that cost? I don't know. No. And you guys had like miles of it, yeah? The company just sent it up. Stalin put it up. Cool. Hey, we stay safe, man. Thank you. It's coming down, it's coming down. The razor wire is coming down from the US Capitol. Oh, they want to open this street. I yeah. see. Oh, that makes sense. This is an important street. Yeah. Are you guys going to put it up over there again or no? Uh, we don't know right now. They don't know? You ever cut yourself? Yeah, so that's it. So I, in, in talking to these guys who are really nice, they told me that they plan to reopen this road, 3rd Street, but that the fences are still going to remain. I don't know if they're going to reattach the barbed wire, but the city and the uh, Capitol Police had a meeting with the community 
in which people were basically saying, listen, we understand there's fences, but at the, can we at least get rid of the barbed wire? Barbed wire just makes it look awful. It's very depressing. And technically under DC law, it's against the law to have barbed wire on the streets, but who's enforcing that right now? Anyway, I'm gonna get back to editing this other video about barbed wire, not about barbed wire, about black flags and buses. Uh, I might be able to get that up tonight. Uh, tomorrow should be pretty cold in the morning, so I don't think I'm gonna go out in the morning, but we'll probably go out in the afternoon. And later this week, it's gonna be sunny and clear, and finally we can get back out and do some good hiking. All right, thanks for watching. See you later.